The Instant Pot has become the must-have cooking gadget. Since its debut in 2010, its popularity only continues to grow. The inventor, Robert Wang, says it's transformed his life. It has made my daily cooking so much easier and faster. The pot's claim to fame, making meals faster and more flavorful than ever, and even helping people lose weight. Blogger Brittany Williams lost 125 pounds using her Instant Pot. The Instant Pot really enabled me to cook healthy, nutrient-dense meals in a fraction of the time that I was used to, which helped me on my weight loss journey. But not all home cooks are convinced. While some love the kitchen wonder... The best appliance in the whole entire world, as you can see, the Instant Pot. Every day I try something new. Amazing to die for. There are many others who still don't quite get it. I had visions of the lid flying off and hitting someone in my kitchen. Even some members of our GMA family struggling. I do have an Instant Pot. I have tried using it. I don't think I'm fully understanding it. <laughs> it's got a button to make your own yogurt. Scary. But never fear, GMA is here to help you start cooking in an instant. the best way to cook. Up first, Poonam Patel. She's a mom who loves to use the Instant Pot to create traditional Indian dishes with a twish. Twist. She's also the star of Instapot with Poonam. And he, Jeffrey here, left his job so he could create Instant Pot recipes full time. And his nearly 200,000 YouTube followers are glad he did. Jeffrey Epps Eisner, excuse me. Yeah. Of <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Don't say that. Too many politics. <laughs> are competing in the Instant Pot Cook-Off. The judge, whose dish is to judge, whose dish is best, Adam Rappaport. Adam Rappaport. Yeah. Come on, Robert Brown, so you guys love the Instant Pot. We do, because it's easy to use, it's durable, it's affordable, which I think is why so many people around America love it. And you can do a lot of different things, especially as these guys are doing more slow-cooked things where the flavors sort of marry and come together, hang out. Uh, from short ribs to brisket to black bean soup to chicken stock, um, it's a thing you can just literally dial in, walk away, half an hour, 45 minutes later, it's done. Uh, but we heard Ginger there. Some people find this a little tough to figure out. I, you know, I, there's so many millions of people who <laughs> are able to figure it out. I think those people, Sorry, maybe some people on your staff aren't as sharp as they should be. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, Ginger. Okay, let's go over here with Poonam, because you're going to start with what you're saying is one of your favorite Indian street food dishes. Yes. It's kind of like a veggie sloppy joe. You want to kick it yeah, up? Yeah, totally. Um, so we're making an Indian traditional dish. It's called bomb bhaji. It smells so, delicious um, already. Translates to Indian, you know, Indian style veggie sloppy joes. It's all vegetarian. Um, but I went ahead and gotten started with some onions, butter, cumin, cinnamon, getting that done. Um, and then you kind of just start with the setting in your vegetables. So you're going to throw your tomatoes in. I'm not going to use my hands because I'm not at home. Um, and all your seasonings. And like Adam said, it's, it's one of the best utensils in my kitchen. I have two small kids running around, um, and I can actually cook full-blown Indian meals in a matter of half an hour. Which normally would take a really long time to get cook something like this. You say this kind of reminds you of your childhood. Yeah, so, um, you know, traditionally my family's from India. I was born and raised in Dallas. Sorry, Mike, I know you're giant, but we're <laughs> cowboys. Um, and so, uh, <laughs> but um, I grew up in Dallas with a huge family. Um, and in India, when I used to go, it's a, it's a famous street food, so we would all go, get to eat with our hands, really great. And then at home, home, our families would cook together. We'd have 50 people at home, and the moms would all be taking one part of the dish, and mm -hmm. it'd just be a really long time. In here, I can do it in short, like, 20 minutes. Question, what does your mom think of you using the Instant Pot? So that's the, that's the <laughs> trick. The older yeah. generation is very, um, like, I don't know about that. You know, it's not the pressure cooker that I know. Yeah. I don't know if it's the same. It's not traditional. Um, but, you know, once they taste it, they're like, oh, yeah, it, it actually works. And, and you pointed this out. It's great for big flavor food like Indian cooking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially yeah. Indian cooking. I, we feel the flavors are more intense. Yeah. Well, because you want, with all those spices and herbs, you want those things to ha take the time and that pressure yeah. to really bring everything yeah. together. Okay, now the, you're going to finish over here. Yes. We're I'm going to commute down this way over to here. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do the last few steps over here. All right. And Jeffrey, you're making sausage and 
shows. Your glasses are already steamy. Are they? Yeah. It's because it's these, these lights, you know? I'm going to put these right over here for now, then. Um, I'm making sausage and shells, which is, oh God, do you smells, smell yeah. that? Who doesn't oh, love? Uh, I'm sauteing shallots and sausage and it's garlic. Almost, it's almost cheating. It's almost sausage cheating. Sausage and garlic. Like, you know, it's it's like Streisand. It's like butter, you know? Yeah. It's amazing. I absolutely love sauteing. And one of the best things about the Instant Pot, to me, that really gives it an edge over the crock pot is that you can um, saute in the pot and it's an all-in-one device. You don't have to saute and then transfer over. This is a huge thing. Plus, it makes the place smell incredible. Smell Question. Right? Yeah. Can you, when sauteing, can you get that nice brown caramelization that you can Absolutely. get in a traditional this pan? This is basically, pot? like, let's say you, like, you have an RV or you live in a mobile home and you don't really have a stove. This substitutes this stove. Oh, yeah. It's the most amazing thing. So you really. learned to cook from your grandmother. My grandma Your little. grandmother did not have an instant pot, I think. No, no. She, back then, those were the scary <laughs> pressure. Like, the things that everyone yeah. was, you know, these are, it's a new day. My grandma Lil, her favorite things to make, and she's known for, um, I miss her so much, was her, um, her stuffed cabbage. Mm. And, uh, you know, she wasn't somebody who ever really wrote a recipe down. It was like the old school way. And uh, I basically, she would just like take ingredients, throw them in the pot, and that's how I learned to cook. I just saw it was in my cupboard, and I threw it into this thing. It's like a witch's cauldron. You can just throw things in and make amazing things happen. So <laughs> here it is. So again, how about all those traditionalists back home saying pasta in an instant pot? Well, see, that's my question. Typically, a lot of like, <laughs> Real Italians, quote unquote, they want their pasta a little al dente. They don't want it too mushy. How do you go about cooking the pasta with everything else that it doesn't just get too mixed up? What's your technique for that? You know, the thing is, the Winston Pot really does amazing things because we're cooking the pasta inside the broth at the same time. And also, by the way, instead of just using water, you use broth because it really infuses oh, the flavor good. into the pot. Go, please, be my guest, George. All right, well, while oh, we're finishing this, we're George, you did a great job. You're amazing, yeah. Try Poonam's dish. Shall we? Make sure you garnish it with a little bit of lemon okay, before you take go, that Jay. first here bite. You go, George, I'll, I'll save one for you. Okay. So Adam, you got to give us the verdict. I know. Oh, so we're, oh, we're, yeah, ready. we're, gonna we're do doing both. this already. Quick, quick, quick. All right, so we're doing something a little on the roll. <laughs> And this is a buttered roll. Yeah, it's buttered bread. That's so you top nice. it with um, a buttered bread, and you can add extra chilies mm. if you like spicy food. Really, really good. good. A little bit of heat in there. Yeah. I don't want it's like the Indian it's comfort there. food. All right, All right. Try this one. Here's a fork. Speed eating. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make a mess here. Jeez. <laughs> that looks really good. It does. <laughs> Mmm. Yeah. Both delish. Okay, you got a verdict? Not giving you much time here. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we have like one and one A here. Yeah. I'm going to put them. Did you go a bit more? 